Hello, my quilting friends. My name is Leah Day, and welcome to this Frame Quilting Friday. So I am obsessed with Minky. This stuff is so much fun to play with. It's super, super soft, and it creates this gorgeous texture whenever you quilt it. So I wanna show you how I stitch this design. I'm calling this undulation, and it's basically a regular echoes. You're intentionally creating a regular echoes. You can do this as an edge to edge design. I think it's gonna be super, super fast. And best of all, I can use up all of my scraps of Minky and I'm gonna turn these into pillow covers for Christmas. They're gonna be so soft. So let's get on the frame. I'll show you how this works. So we're gonna get started with a big wiggly line and I'm just gonna get this started as a foundation. So, I just want this to be irregular and I'm occasionally gonna come back and hit my starting line where I just basically basted the quilt to the frame and then I'm gonna wiggle back. And I want these to be nice and irregular. Now you can see down here, I've actually already started filling in with echoes and I'm basically just gonna work my way backwards and do that. So sometimes I wanna bring the echo in nice and close like that and sometimes I wanna keep it further away. The point is to just be completely irregular with this. The name undulation, I think is just about perfect because it captures, you know, that it's an undulating line, that it's not perfect, it's not regular, it follows no set pattern, and that it creates this absolutely gorgeous effect in the minky. Now you can see I am moving pretty fast. I'm gonna keep my left, my right hand here just simply because I'm getting a little bit of bounce in the quilt. And that's probably because, yeah, my back rail is up just a little bit on the high side. So I'm getting just a bit of bounce and that's why I'm kind of holding it down and pressing it a bit against my ruler plate. And I really think that this is one of those things that's just, it's just great practice for echoing, even though we're not really doing uh, you know, a perfect echo by any means. I'm fitting some in here and I'm getting some perfect echoes occasionally. And I think it's just good practice to move the machine and to be moving this quickly too. Here's one of the big gaps. I'm gonna leave, you know, anywhere from uh, one inch to one and a half inches wide. Let's do that again. So I'm just kind of eyeballing my space, come in something like that. And I wouldn't worry about leaving spaces that big open. In fact, actually, you could probably leave even more space open. I'm also using up batting scraps. So I might end up quilting a little bit more densely than I even need to, just simply because I honestly don't know what's on the frame right now. <laughs> I don't know what batting I'm using. Uh, it's like batting, mystery batting scraps that ended up in a bed. Okay, now let's go full edge to edge. So I'm down here, I'm watching out for my clamps. As I wiggle on down, I'm just gonna be really regular about this. So sometimes I'm gonna bring my line out. You can see, I was about an inch and a half away there. Now I'm gonna get close, just making it up as I go. I keep that line close all the way down to the bottom. Now let's start widening it out. So pulling the machine away. And let's make a nice weird shape right here. That looks cool. You know, the thing I found that was neat would be to do um, like basically repeating echoes for a little while, but then do something really weird, really pull those lines apart, put a big gap between them. And that definitely helped the design that made it more interesting. It's real easy to get into too much of a pattern with this. And then it starts to get boring. So like right here, I'm just gonna add an extra hump to that echo. And I think that's gonna really help it out. I've got kind of a, just a basically almost like a repeating curve here. I wasn't paying much attention to what I'm doing. So here I'll turn that into kind of a heartbeat effect. And I'm hitting up against, yep, I've got my clamps back here. And I need to get a bar and put that under there. So this is a tip that I received from another quilter. And thank you so much for writing in to share this tip. But basically, uh, this is a dowel rod and I'm just popping that in and that is lifting up those cords and those clamps. So now I should be able to quilt and it not hit my ruler base. Let's see. And I still probably won't be able to get all the way to the edge of the quilt, but that's okay. That's about as close as I need to get. There we go. Awesome. Okay. Now let's work this out. This area doesn't look quite the same as the rest. So we're gonna definitely have to work on that as I stitch back across. 
Now, if you ever notice that you have issues stitching in one direction versus the other, that's something to pay attention to. You might want to change the needle or adjust the tension on your machine. Uh, a thread net around your thread can also help with that too. Sometimes it's just the difference between feeding from left to right versus right to left. So keep that in mind. So it's just still based on a sewing machine. It's still a, a basic idea and concept based on a sewing machine. And sewing machines have a definite right way and wrong way to put stuff through it. <laughs> okay, so now I'm getting back to just having some fun with my echoes, bringing the line closer together and further apart. And I hope you can see just how fast this is. I'm gonna be knocking out all of this texture within an hour and filling in this entire thing, quilting through all of it, creating a lot of really beautifully quilted minkies so I can make lots of pillow covers for Christmas. So that's it for this video. I had so much fun quilting with Minky and sharing this cool undulation design. I really love this effect and it's super, super easy and fast to stitch. So really can't be beat. And I think this will be a great design for all over style quilting. If you're just wanting to get something on the machine and off the machine in a day, get it knocked out. This is a really, really good choice. So that's it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. Give us a like, a thumbs up, and share any questions or suggestions for more tutorials in the comments below. You can find many more Frame Quilting Friday videos at leahday.com frame. Until next time, let's go quilt.